yeah no no but uh, getting back to duno man i mean duno's a great personality he's developing into even better uh, on-air personality getting into movies and shit but i think a lot of the criticism that uh people have put out there is um how can you be a voice in hip-hop when you've been on No Jumper stating that you don't necessarily listen to hip hop. I feel like he downplays that a lot of his, he knows what's up. Like, And at the end of the day, he's not over there to be a voice for hip hop culture. I think he was he's, an added personality. For he's a personality and he's important for Los Angeles. Rosecrans Vic definitely knows a lot about hip hop. He knows the shit. Shout so, out Rosecrans. So having him Shout over there. Shout out Letty too. The Shout fucking out. who's at the helm of what's going on over there. I love. I've never met Letty but. I'm a big fan. I just love the paradigm yeah. and her her attitude. The voice, yeah, it's dope. Soothing voice on the radio. She's so fine, bro. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I she is so bad, bro. God really can't damn. say, you know. M MJ, uh, Duno's only 22, so he doesn't know, bro. Shit, we the same age, but <laughs> I feel you though. EUC vibes. No, but here, look, this one. Thank I'm... you for the cinco piece. With doing okay, so the fact that there's a hiatus or there's a breakup this quick, a lot of people aren't like, "Hey, what's going on? What's going on?" People are like, um, "Shit, yeah." We love the fact that you've been in that position. Like, Honestly. we love that. No hate, no hate. But we gotta be, we gotta be contextual here. Of what's going on? Someone like we have a day in LA. We have other platforms. We have people that could possibly be in that position and play. I would love to be in that position. But you would I ain't be. Gonna a lie. I like to be on Power One Six. I would love that. Even job. if it was for a day or a field trip, homie, call it what you want. I was there. I would wake up at 3 a.m. Right? right? Make sure I'm yeah. on time. Yeah. You know what I think it is? Is big shoes to fill once Big Boy left because you had Jay Cruz and his show and that Talk didn't last. It. And you had Nick Cannon in there for a short bit and that didn't last. So we'll see how uh, long Brown Bag, you know, puts it out there for for them. AUC vibes. I did read your freestyle. What you mean, homie? <laughs> that was working I with feelings, dog. I, I read your freestyle. <laughs> He said he sent it to you, your IG. Why did you read it out? Uh, oh, okay. He yeah. said oh, I sent you? it on your IG message. Hold on. <laughs> That's what he said. He put some money up. I feel like we should do that for him. Um, do y'all think that the Oscar De La Hoya comments was a part of why he wound up getting chalked? If, I in think fact, so, did? bro, because, like... Now I mean look me look, in, at the me Kanye, in, me look, look at the Kanye thing and Adidas dropping him because he made a comment they didn't like. I mean let's really think about what's going on here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like dudes are losing big gigs and stuff over 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 for, freedom for, of speech. Well, well, well that's, that, well, that's, that's how Nick Cannon got fired too. Yeah, he, you know he made a uh anti-Semitic statement. Right. They, they but, fired but, his ass too, just like So he know. said some crazy shit. He called Oscar de la Hoya a crackhead. Yeah. But he's a comedian, yo. We got to shoot him some rope for that. I mean, at the end of the day, was he lying? Oscar De La Hoya is a fucking cokehead. That's not okay, my place then. to speak, so, but he's a comedian. He's at the end of the day, was he lying? Why did he get fired? Because the truth hurt? Like, well, fuck, he bro, did have it on. as an Instagram caption. Uh, okay, but that's his... Oh, well,